Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be seeing what's coming for you in the new moon. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been really feeling this. And my moon is actually in Cancer, so I'm probably going to feel it a lot because of that. And I definitely feel like a lot of shit is coming up for you guys that's going to be coming up and out. A lot to do with relationships, a lot to do with things we've held back, a lot to do with our own personal power. And basically I'm feeling a lot to do with self-image is what's coming through. So possibly things you've been pushing back. Um, and I'm also getting transitioning. So if a lot of you are actually in the LGBTQ community and are transitioning, I think a lot of you are actually going to be realising what you really want, things like that. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of personal transitioning and transformation. And it's all going to be coming up really, very really deep. And it's going to be very, very emotional. Which is really good though because I feel like a lot of you really need this. A lot of us really need this just because... There's a lot of stuff that's been shoved down for a long time and we don't even realise we're doing it. So I'm really excited to do this video for you guys today. If you'd like to choose a group, we have group one, group two, group three and group four. And let's see what's coming for you in the new moon in Cancer. Hello group number one. Today we have the gorgeous rose quartz. Apologies for any background noise. There is a lot of noise going on outside. So I really hope you can't hear it. If you can, I do apologise. Okay, so... Let's see what's in the Moonology deck for you guys. We have New Moon in Cancer. Gorgeous for the first group. Amazing. Don't let your past hold you back. Confidence is your key to success. I love that we got the first card in the first group. Is the Cancerian card like, whoa. Like. Okay, so letting go. Ace of Cups. Page of Wands. And Two of Swords. For some reason, I felt the need to actually link these up. So, so that works. We also have crossroads. That actually needs to be in reverse. Okay, thank you very much. That needs to be in reverse. We have solutions and emotions. And then we also have your hard work is paying off. Whew, okay, you guys have got a really, really nice group. A lot of you guys have been working on your emotions. I feel a lot of you are water signs or you're very in touch with your emotions or you just have been very, very emotional. I feel like some days can be proper emotional and some days can be like, I can do this, I can do this. But then other days you're like, nah. <laughs> a lot of stuff is going to be coming up. I'm seeing like the word transparency and essentially this is basically meaning that a lot of stuff is coming to the surface and it's not going to be able to not be seen anymore which is really really good it's like not to be not be seen i mean like it's not going to be able to be hidden anymore everything is coming through and it's coming through like the glass i'm seeing it's like going from one door to another like one side to another sort of thing you know when you put like your hand through like i don't know you got like a clear bit of plastic or paper bag and you push your hand through it and you can see like the imprint of your hand it's almost like that like things are actually coming through and out but it's actually you're poking your hand right through and it's coming out the other side so it's almost like things are coming through and they're seeping through and it's absolutely gorgeous so with the ace of cups the page of wands two of swords i feel like you guys are really going to be moving forward like with the letting go card and the fact this is blue and this is blue is basically saying that there's so much going for you guys it's, it's actually unreal like we have i feel like oh, there's job opportunities i'm feeling there is the thought of improving yourself especially with a lot of you guys who have anxiety and things like that where you have to really push yourself i, I see you guys overcoming a lot of obstacles and a lump i see you overcoming a lump which is really really good your hard work is paying off and everything that you've been manifesting is coming through okay I can definitely resonate with this group, you guys. Like, this is really coming through very strongly for me. And I definitely feel like there's so much emotion going on. It's so good. Like, I, I, as somebody who has their moon in cancer, like, I love all this emotion. So there's going to be a lot of emotion coming through. I feel like there is the potential for a relationship here. Because we have the page of wands. It's almost like you're going on to a new venture. And I'm definitely getting that 360 thing. Like the world card. Where there's like a new beginning. Like a new start. The crossroads. You're at the end of a crossroads. And they showed me to show this in reverse. A lot of the time they don't actually tell me to do this in reverse. But this time they were like you need to show this in reverse. So it basically means that you're coming out of crossroads. And you're coming out of the stuck. You're coming out of this energy where you're like, I don't know what to do, help me, like, what do I do? And as the fact that this is connected to the confidence is key card, it's basically like, you need confidence to get through this and you will have that, okay? So from this crossroads that you've had, there is now going to be solutions and emotions are going to be start starting to come through. I definitely feel like someone is going to come through with an emotional offer. You're going to get some sort of offer to do with work 
or there's going to be just somebody who's actually decided what they want and they're going to come forward to you and say okay I want a relationship okay I want to do this with you okay I want a friendship that sort of thing do you know what do you know what do you know what I mean like do you know what <laughs> do you know what do you know what I mean so it's almost like somebody's going to give you that offer and it's going to come through really really nicely I love this group I have so much to say about this group I just have so many messages coming through it's so difficult to like pin one down so I need to breathe <laughs> So don't let the past hold you back and the page of wands is a gorgeous combination because we almost have like with the page of wands i see him moving forward and looking forward so it's almost like the past is not going to hold you back anymore there's just so much connectivity with this group i love this everything is just free flowing and when you feel like you are stuck just know that confidence is key in this situation and you will overcome it and just know just have faith in the universe that everything will come towards you and if you're connecting with somebody in um, with their sun in Leo, then that is going to be a sign for you. Or it's going to be when the new moon is in Leo is as to when this has shifted. Or it's like something may have started when the new moon was in Leo. And it's almost like kind of dragged on. Because I don't actually know when the new moon is, is in Leo. So I definitely feel like you guys, this is quite a significant time. I feel like, I feel like this could almost be resolved as well with the new moon in leo so there's lots of different options here i love the fact that the overall energy is your hard work is paying off that's just such a gorgeous card to have because i feel like you guys are really going to be coming out of something really really hard and um yeah it's going to be amazing you guys you guys have got such a lovely reading so thank you so much for choosing this group and for being here if you would like to get private reading with me all the information is down below all my private readings that i offer in the description box below if you would like to connect with me on Instagram or email, that'd be amazing. I would love that. Also follow me on Instagram if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> and also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd absolutely love it. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to like this video, comment down below if it resonated. And if it didn't resonate, then let it fly. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here and for clicking on this video. It's an absolute pleasure to do this reading for you. So let's see what you have going on for this new moon in Cancer. So we have, it's time to take action. Your dreams need a practical plan. Meditate and contemplate, okay? So we also have new location. We have nature cycles, angels, deep healing. And we also have the star oh, and the queen of pentacles. So I feel like you guys are really gonna be connecting with your guides and your angels. I feel like you're connectivity with spirit is really going to be extremely high if you are connecting with a taurus aries or pisces this is just a clarification this is for you obviously if you're not then that's completely fine you could even be an aries taurus or a pisces i definitely feel a lot of you are going to be connecting with this pisces energy though through this new moon even obviously it's not pisces new moon but it's like this will be a time where you're going to be contemplating on a certain situation and having to be practical about what you should be doing I definitely feel like this um these two cards are very very similar it's almost like that headstrong energy where you need to put things into perspective in a sense that you need to be like okay i'm going to do this 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 and this i'm going to set myself a goal and i feel like this is a lot to do with like exercise regimes like um food what sort of food you're taking into your body this can even be like a yoga routine this could be starting a new class this could even be to do with like a job so I definitely feel like you guys are going to be coming into a time where you're actually going to be taking action towards things. I don't feel like this is a very dreamy energy. I feel like this is more like, I need to think about this and I'm going to do this. With the star, as I said, I definitely feel like you guys are going to be coming into more of a spiritual time. You guys are really going to be connecting with your spirits and guides. I feel like a lot of you could be getting readings at this time as well because I feel like a lot of you, a lot of emotions are going to be coming up. And you're going to be like, what's going on? I need some guidance, that sort of thing, okay? Possibly watching a few more pick cards than usual, that sort of thing. So this is also going to be connecting with your own spirituality as we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you're almost going to be going into a job as well where you could actually be connecting more with your spirituality. You could be becoming a tarot reader, you could be working with crystals, you could be working with uh, healing energy, um, say Reiki, yoga, uh, Kundalini, that sort of thing, Kundalini yoga, that sort of thing. You could even, as I say, start a new class. 
And I definitely feel like you guys are going to be working on your pentacles very, very strongly. I feel like you guys are actually going to be coming into a job that's really, really amazing. That way you're going to be very, very comfortable within that, okay? So, as I say, we have angels here, which is very connected with the star, I feel like, and this new moon in Pisces. You guys are going to be kind of definitely connected with your angels and guides. And I feel like you're going to have this sudden, like, I'm seeing someone sitting on a sofa and they're suddenly jumping up and saying, right, I'm going to move house. Right, I'm going to move job. Right, I need to, I'm ready to ring somebody. Right, I need to call somebody. Right, I need to text someone. That sort of energy. Because I definitely feel like there's some movement, an actual physical movement where you're going to be moving possibly to a new location, possibly even a new location emotionally where you're essentially thinking, okay, what do I actually really want? And am I getting this out of this certain situation? Okay, definitely a time to take action. This is also could be a new person coming forward. That's this card as well. That's another alternative meaning for this card. Uh, definitely with nature cycles, as I say, you're de definitely going to be starting a new cycle where I'm seeing like um, the world turning 360, a uh, world card, and also I'm seeing like a timer, the sand dial, where they like flip it up and it's basically going to be starting a whole new cycle, which is absolutely amazing. And because that you've been meditating and contemplating through this time, it's time to take action and you've been through such a deep healing, it's almost like you can't deny what you really need what you really need now. And obviously if you are still confused or contemplating what you need to do, then definitely meditate and contemplate on what you feel like is the most best idea for you. And obviously just take your time, it, there's no rush, but I feel like a lot of you guys are actually going to be putting things into practical action, okay? So, definitely seeing like a new job opportunity. I'm seeing opportunity, the word opportunity is coming through really, really strongly. So I'm seeing someone having texts, emails, calls, that sort of thing because people will want your time and your attention. Essentially, this is basically meaning that you could actually have a new job, um, a new, I'm seeing, this is really random. I'm seeing someone eating a lolly, like a sweet lolly, not like an ice lolly. Uh, so I'm thinking this is to do with childhood and reconnecting with your childhood and reconnecting with that part of you that needs to kind of come out and it hasn't been kind of looked at a lot and I feel like a lot of you are really going to be connecting with your childhood self and your child energy and I feel like a lot of you are going to be having more fun and I definitely feel like a lot of you are going to be having meetings I'm not sure that's about probably work meetings that sort of thing Possibly a lot of you are going to be working in uh, charity shops and kind of doing charity work. I'm definitely seeing for a lot of you guys. I don't. Feel, I just see a lot of you guys just putting stuff into practical action, which is really, really good. And I feel like a lot of you, if you're in a relationship or you're starting a new relationship, I see something going to a new level. So possibly you could go from dating to boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend. Obviously it doesn't matter on gender. Uh, this could also mean that you are I'm seeing like a door opening. So as I say, moving house, you could be moving in with a partner, that sort of energy. Um, even, this is really random, but I'm seeing camping, so a lot of you could be going camping, festivals, that sort of thing. Gorgeous, I'm seeing a lot of stuff for you guys, so I'm seeing you guys are quite busy. Um, obviously, if you feel like this, is gonna, this doesn't resonate for me, I'm not that busy, it will come, okay? It probably will flow in when you least expect it. Obviously, if it doesn't resonate, then you can just let it fly, or pick another group, etc, etc. But yeah, so thank you for watching. If it did resonate though, please comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much. I love reading your comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to. My name is Crystal Girl. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. And also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, then all the information is down below in the description box and on the screen here. You connect me. You can connect with me through email or uh, Instagram. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what's coming for you in the new moon in Cancer. We have this gorgeous citrine. I love this crystal, it's so lovely. So I definitely feel like for you guys who've chosen this group, I feel like a lot of you are cleansing or wanting to cleanse, detoxing, that sort of thing. Could be physically detoxing. Or just kind of like getting rid of a lot of stuff. And also a lot of you could be connecting with your solar plexus. Okay, solar plexus chakra. So we have the energy is gaining momentum, prosperity lies ahead and bring love into the situation. We also have miracle healing. Self-love, let's see if I can put these up here so I'm not layering them. There we go, lovely. And then we have cleanse, yeah, there we go, cleansing, definitely. I definitely felt that for you guys. Uh, ground, and we also have four of swords, the six of wands in reverse, king of swords in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wow, there's a lot of head energy. Oh, my head is really kind of going for it. I definitely feel like you guys are really kind of getting into your head a lot. Um, and you're really trying to think, okay, 
what do I do? What do I do right now? A lot of you guys are gaining self love much stronger for yourself in this new moon. I feel like a lot of you are going to be connect. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. So I definitely feel like the okay. So this is really confusing to explain. So I'm going to explain in visuals. So this is you, and this is self love. And I feel like a lot of you have been disconnected from your self love, where you both have been very separate. When this new moon comes in, I definitely, or even before the new moon actually comes in, I definitely feel like a lot of you are going to be doing this with self-love. And you're, sorry, my thumb just clicked. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of you are going to, be get, are going to be connecting fully with yourself. And you're going to be realising, okay, this is what I need. This is what I need to improve on. And I definitely feel like with this Four of Swords, it's like, okay, I've been thinking about it. And now actually I know what this means to have self-love for myself. Obviously, it can mean it's different for everybody else, but I feel like a lot of you, emotional wise, I feel like a lot of you are going to be really, really good to yourself. And if you're not, then be good to yourself, guys. Be kind to yourself. You're doing the best you can. And I feel like with miracle healing, this is basically the overall energy. So this is basically you're healing a lot. And it's it's for some reason they're telling me it's very special and it's very beautiful. And the energy is gaining momentum, as I said. You guys are really going to be connecting with that, okay? So we have cleanse, prosperity lies ahead, and we also have the six of wands in reverse. So a lot of you, I feel like, feel like you've been going backwards. Feel like, feel like. <laughs> Just repeating myself 50 times. <laughs> oh God, guys, this new mood's like messing with my head. Um, so you guys, I feel like you feel like you're going backwards. Yes, I feel like you guys feel like you're going backwards, but make sure to cleanse make sure to cleanse your aura make sure to possibly detox drink a lot of water um possibly drink like healthy tea i don't know do what you need to do to kind of get through this in a sense probably doing yoga meditation exercise running dancing move your body and um, cleanse yourself as well because i feel like there is a lot of prosperity coming but i feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're going backwards and for some reason i'm connecting with the horse and the the bull here so for some reason i feel like a lot of you are feeling kind of like really hard-headed about it like why is nothing moving why is nothing moving I feel like you want to shake something or your or your own self and i definitely feel like because there's a lot of stuff going on to do with the past that's why it's been holding you back but it's not almost holding you back it's almost like you need to go through this process to get to this but i definitely feel like this new moon is going to bring up a lot of emotions like a lot and you're going to be cleansing so it's almost like you don't really need to do anything but to actually help this along drink lots of water as i said yoga meditation running dancing anything that you feel like is going to release something is great self-love is very very important at this time especially because of all the emotions that are running high so we have bring love into the situation and ground we also have the king of swords this energy i feel like a lot of you have gone through a breakup or a time where you guys have gone through a, somebody who's really really hurt you i feel like i can hear argument i can hear two people to, shouting at each other like a man and a woman and they're both shouting at each other i feel like this could even be to do with friendships i feel like a lot of you are getting rid of toxic friendship toxicity is kind of brewing and i feel like a lot of you are kind of getting rid of that for some reason i need to keep clicking my thumb sorry guys um i feel like a, i can see like a witch and she's like stirring a pot and she's going hee 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 so I, I feel like a lot of you that is that toxic energy that's been brewing and brewing and brewing and it's going to suddenly explode and you need to kind of be you have to bring love into the situation as much love as you can because i feel like somebody's really affecting you i definitely feel like a male figure I could even be a father grandfather uncle that sort of thing and i feel like you need to ground in this situation because you need to be grounded in a sense that you need to figure out okay what's the best solution for this i'm getting this really really strongly so if a lot of you guys are going through this i am i'm sending you lots of love because i've been there very recently so with this bring love into the situation it's just so important for you to love yourself and if you feel the need to let go of this certain person then let them go this could even be a certain energy that's just stubborn as f and you just think why the f is this not moving and it will move okay just keep grounding yourself keep being here in the moment because the more you're in your head the more it's going to be more difficult for you okay so with miracle healing we also have the six of pentacles which is absolutely amazing we have balance we have as i say i don't know if you guys if i said this to you guys or i said this to group before but i'm getting charity work as well so if i haven't already said this i'm getting that too so a lot of you guys i feel like are going to be more generous and i feel like a lot more people are going to be more generous towards you as well <clears throat> excuse me i feel like a lot of you 
Okay, I just burped, so a lot of you are getting stuff out. I feel like you're going to have a lot of... Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. There is some sort of argument that's been going on, and you're thinking, how the F are we going to resolve this? Also, it's like a stubborn energy that's been stuck between two people. And once this has been resolved, or you've either moved on or solved it, then now it's going to be a much more... Sorry, my words are so annoying today. I really can't get my words out. It's going to be a much more balanced situation where both of you are giving and taking on an equal level. And because of this energy that's come through and up, it's like now let's really get into the good stuff where we can really appreciate each other's company and not be hitting each other on the head and butting heads as well. I'm getting. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like there's definitely some sort of kindness and healing coming through. And there's a lot of purging of relationships and energies is coming through and out it's, go it's going away it's going this way and i feel like that's this energy too it's like you may feel like you're going backwards but honestly if there's a lot of people that are messing you around or annoying you they need to go if you feel like they need to go obviously solve the issue if, if you feel like that's more necessary but if they need to go just let them go like cleanse cleanse all, cleanse all the crap cleanse all the crap <laughs> that's gonna be the quote cleanse all the crap <laughs> i'm sorry the peace sign guys that was cringy uh, <laughs> i love you guys so much please don't judge me <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you'd like to comment down below if this resonated if it didn't resonate then that's fine just let it fly or choose another group thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys so 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 much if you'd like to get a private reading with me all my information is down below in the description all the different readings that i offer is down below if you'd like to uh you can email me on my email you know email me on my email wow <laughs> you can email me or you can message me on instagram and yeah that's it really guys if you want to subscribe then please feel free uh like and comment and i'll speak to you very soon bye hi guys thank you so much for clicking on this video so if you guys pick this crystal i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be reflecting or someone's going to be reflecting back at you what is going on in your life i don't feel like there's a lot of emotional stuff going on and I feel like a lot of communication is going to be coming forward and kind of getting this mismatched communication so a lot of you I feel like could be in arguments and things like that so that's what I'm getting a lot of, getting a lot of mismatch you don't know kind of where you stand <laughs> communication is key oh my fucking god yes bitch work <laughs> oh my god I love it when that happens a win-win outcome yes conclusions are within reach guys I love this crew <laughs> oh my god that's literally what I just said oh, I love it when that happens right we have quiet time we also have a uh, blue lace agate communication. Fucking <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is just funny now. This is just funny, guys. Peace, manifestation. We also have the page of cups, page of pentacles, the empress. Oh dear lord. Okay, I just need to like settle myself down for a minute because I'm just overwhelmed with this energy. <laughs> Ah, I love this group so much. Okay, I apologise for swearing, but that just comes out. Okay, right. Communication from a Pisces. Communication from a Libra. Communication from a Leo Aries Sag. Okay, right. Also possibly could be an Earth sign more. I'm thinking Virgo. Okay, my eyes really hurting. The back of my eyes really hurting for some reason. I don't know what that is. Maybe you guys are staring at computer too much. Um or something i don't know concentrating too much focusing too much so you guys are going to get communication i definitely feel like as i said there's kind of this energy i love that we got these cards like this is amazing like this is literally what i was thinking i love when that happens it just i love clarification guys oh okay um <laughs> so you guys definitely as i say you've got this sort of energy going on where you're kind of like where do i stand in this situation you guys are going to get a massive communication and a massive outcome when i say massive communication i feel like a lot of you guys are waiting so long for somebody to communicate with you it's a really intense like pressurizing energy it almost feels like um when somebody puts like a vacuum pack when vacuum sucks something so say if you're gonna like pack up like no like chicken or something and you vacuum suck the plastic and it just grips to the to the whatever it's been vacuum sucked up to i feel like that energy is coming through and also a press like i'm getting like someone's head and they're being pressed like that so it's almost like this pressure and i feel like there's that pressure i had in my eyes that pressure you're feeling but it's going to be really good really really good you guys have been manifesting this and you guys are going to get it you guys are going to get it okay you might be getting it as well you might be getting some you know <laughs> some uh, intimacy but i definitely feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting really wholesome communication this is also going to be a love situation as well because we've got the new uh the full moon in libra 
Um, with this uh, new moon in Gemini, full moon in Libra, and full moon eclipse, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, if any of those like kind of dates correlate to uh, your situation, then they they are very significant as well. So possibly when you might have met this person at a full moon in Libra, your moon might be in Libra, that sort of thing. Your moon might be in Gemini. You might have been born on a full moon, that sort of thing. They're just telling me to make sure that you write these things down or figure out if those if those correlate to you because I feel like that's quite important. Could be important to do with timing as well. There's going to be just a gorgeous... Like, look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. So we have Peace, Page of Cups. And, oh, I just got massive tingles in my leg. We have Peace, um, Page of Cups and Communication. A lot of you guys are going to get such a wholehearted communication from somebody. They're like, look... We've been doing this for a long time. Here you go. Here's the communication. It's amazing. And I, I don't... A lot of people feel like the Page of Cups isn't a very good card. But I see the Page of Cups as something really, really lovely. I see it as a very kind of new energy. So a lot of you guys are probably going to be knowing who you want to be in a relationship with at this time. Or somebody's going to... You're going to be aware of somebody's feelings about you. I feel like definitely a lot of communication coming through. Make sure you guys give wholehearted communication. My third eye is proper going for it. So I feel like a lot of you could have a very spiritual connection with this person that you're thinking about. The person that I just said about, like, if, if I say, are you having a spiritual connection with this person? That person that you're thinking of right now is this person here, okay? Obviously, if you're not connecting with anybody or you're in a relationship with somebody, I definitely feel like there's something where you have been in arguments with perhaps be your partner or like a family member. And it's going to be amazing. I definitely feel like this is to do with love and money because we have the page of pentacles as well so it's like such a good balance i feel like as they're showing me like the scales this on one side and this on the other side so it's almost like you're going to have a, a gorgeous balance of money and emotions and you've been manifesting this guys and after all of this you're going to feel like a boss you're going to feel like an absolute boss because the empress energy is here and you're like um I manifested this like last year i actually asked for this last year and it's taken a while to come and now it's like boom here it is absolutely gorgeous conclusions are within reach you guys are going to be birthing an absolutely gorgeous new energy wow jeez 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 i love the fact that we got both of these cards <clears throat> excuse me wow and my throat just went weird guys the synchronicity in this group is insane insane Okay, because you guys have had a lot of quiet time, possibly away from somebody or just on your own self-love, I feel like a lot of you have benefited from this. Even though you've not wanted to do this, you feel like, okay, I want to go, I want to sort this out, I want to talk to this person, we need to tell each other how we feel, blah, blah, blah. It's like, actually, the universe is like, nah. <coughs> and I'll cough again. My throat chakra is going for it today. So definitely we have, because you've had this quiet time, it's like, actually, now you've always been forced into this because the universe is like, nah, got to push this person away just just until you figure this out or until the universe is like, okay, now they're ready. Now this person is ready to communicate. Now you're ready to communicate. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. Like, holy crap, you guys. This is an absolutely gorgeous group. Wow. And this colour is very similar to the New Moon in Cancer card. And obviously blue is, is cancerian and water and emotions. So it's definitely going to be a lot of emotions coming through. And you're going to feel so peaceful. It's going to be so beautiful. Guys, this is so lovely. I just want to sit in this group. Like, this is so lovely. Wow, my third eye is proper going for it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, also, I definitely feel like there's some sort of package coming. Uh, maybe like an intimate package. Um, or like a communicating package. Like somebody writes a letter to you, a text. Um, or a physical package. You could like, get something from Amazon or I don't know. Something like that. I'm just hearing a doorbell ringing and someone giving you a package. Um, could just also just be a really nice uh, communication. Like could, re could just be really nice communication coming through. Uh, there's also a phone ringing I'm hearing. But I'm seeing like an old phone. Like an old one with a cord. So I'm not sure what that's about. But uh, yeah. Wow you guys. You guys have a gorgeous group. Um, I wish you guys all the best for this new moon. Oh also... I forgot to say, if you want to get a private reading for me, all the information is down below, or it's, all my readings are listed down below. You can choose which option you would like. If not, then please subscribe, comment down below, like this video. Thank you so much for being here. If it didn't resonate, then let it fly. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.